Hi, welcome all of you for another session from the series of management principles from Bhagavad Gita. Now this session is on goal setting, creating a direction in life. Goal setting. We all of us, we know that if there is no goal in life, no goal means no direction in life. And when there is no direction in life and you are already running in a multiple directions, where do you end up? Nowhere. An envelope which is going to somebody's address and you are sending an envelope from courier without address, where does it go? There is a huge size of ship but it doesn't have a rudder which gives the direction to the ship. So a ship without a rudder, where does it go? It doesn't go anywhere. So there are a lot of people on this planet earth who are doing a lot of hard work. There was a survey done by Yale University and the survey was about how many people in the metropolitan cosmopolitan cities do they really have a goal in life. You will be surprised to know that only 2% people on this planet earth have clear defined goals. The rest are either having some dreams or living a clueless life. But does that mean they are not working hard? They are working very hard. They are working very hard but they are not working smart. They are running very fast. But what's happening? End of the day they don't know where have they reached and which direction are they running in. Many times we ask this question to people. Uh, what is more important doing the right things or doing things rightly? So, almost in every training program, we see a lot of people telling us doing things rightly is more important than doing the right things. Now, that's the catch. If you pick up a wrong thing, no matter how rightly you continue doing a wrong thing, you end up reaching a wrong place. If you do a wrong thing fast, you end up reaching a wrong place faster. So, what's important is to pick up the right thing and then do it rightly. If you are running in a wrong direction, aapki disha hi galat hai. Dasha kitni bhi achhi ho. No matter how hard you continue running in a wrong direction, you end up reaching a wrong place very fast. So in this regard, we have picked up chapter number 2, verse number 41 of Bhagavad Gita. Very important shloka. In the beginning of Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna is directionless. Krishna is giving him direction. Krishna is acting as a mentor, a guide, a counselor, a coach. A teacher to Arjuna in Bhagavad Gita. We all we need a coach and we have to become a coachee. We all need a counsellor, we have to be a counsellee. We all need a clear mentor and we have to become a mentee. So let's see how Krishna is acting as a coach, counsellor, guide or a mentor in our life. Krishna explains in this shloka very powerful. You like it. Open this shloka later on when you pick up a Bhagavad Gita. Chapter number 2, verse number 41. Vyavasaya atmika buddhi ekaha kuru nandana. Let me chant this shloka first. Vyavasaya atmika buddhi ekaha kuru nandana. Bahusha khahi anantascha buddhayo vyavasai naam. Vyavasai atmika buddhi ekaha kuru nandana. Let's pick up the first line. Vyavasai, Atmika, Buddhi. Three words. I'll repeat. Vyavasai, Atmika, Buddhi. Three words. Vyavasai is your duty. I am a trainer. So Vyavasai is a trainer. Atmika is Vivek Bindra. Vyavasai, Atmika, Buddhi. Ekaha Kuru Nandana. Hey Kurunandan Arjuna, become one with your duties and responsibilities, become focusedly focused. So what does this mean? Vyavasai is your duty responsibility. For a teacher, there is a different Vyavasai. For a lawyer, different Vyavasai. Student, a different Vyavasai. So Vyavasai and you yourself, Atmika Vivek Bindra. Vyavasai, trainer, Atmika Vivek Bindra. Ekaha! Only one direction for a devotee of Lord. Devotion is Vyavasai and the devotee is Atmika. So devotion and devotee become one, only one. Now the catch is Krishna doesn't say dvau, trai, chatur, pancha. He says ekaha. So become one. 
that's called when you are looking at your goal so clearly so focusedly focused then the results are ought to come results are bound to come it's a it's a by product of your focus bahu shakha hi anantascha if you got a multiple branch intelligence cut them off now those people while being focusedly focused towards their key result area towards the action plan map map you know the map massive action plan when they've got a massive action plan and at that time they are thinking about multiple other things in relationship to their sense gratification aaj barish ho rahi hai chalo parathe kha ke aate hain murthal mein aaj barish nahi ho rahi hai chalo parathe kha ke aate hain murthal mein you know and there are people who are becoming so engrossed in any desire that is coming and they are ready to fulfill it so they are not controlling the mind mind is controlling them you know have you heard people saying ye man ka raja hai jo man ki kehta hai ye wo karta hai to ye man ka raja nahi hai man ka gulam hai jo jo man ne kaha isne wo sab kiya that means he is not the master of mind the mind has become his master and that's a very dangerous situation why because your mind will keep giving you instructions and if you follow all the dictations of your mind you might end up reaching at a wrong place why because you, that was not in relationship to your key result area so therefore vyavasaya atmika buddhi ek only in one direction when you've got that kind of a focus when you've got that kind of a concentration and perseverance with love hard work sincerity focusedly focused you clearly get results but the moment you think about 100 other things in relationship to your multiple enjoyments while not being focusedly focused what's happening you tend to go downward into your integrity syndrome and you know what's a downward integrity syndrome the downward integrity syndrome is let us say if you need to give 100% in your project in your key result area and you give only 90% next time what will happen this time you've given 90% you will lapse only 10% but next time you will go further down and you will only give 90% of that 90% that may be something around 80% but next time you will give only 80% of that remaining 80% you will further go around 60 and that next time 60% of that 60% you will further going down and down and down this is how our focus goes down now here once dronacharya also took pandavas and kauravas for an outbound training program and he took them to maybe jim corbett park or rishikesh or manesar i don't know where did he take them but that was a jungle and in jungle he was explaining them teaching them military arts and in military arts he he had put a wooden bird on the tree and he said we are going to aim at the eye of that wooden bird ऐसा दुर्योधन उठाओ धनुष लगाओ बाण बताओ तुम्हें क्या दिखता है गुरुदेव मुझे पेड़ दिख रहा है और क्या दिखता है गुरुदेव मुझे चिड़िया दिख रही है और क्या दिखता है गुरुदेव मुझे पत्ते भी दिख रहे हैं शाबाश वेरी गुड स्टैंड हियर एंड देन हु कम्स युधिष्ठिर उठाओ धनुष लगाओ बाण बताओ युधिष्ठिर तुम्हें क्या दिखता है गुरुदेव मुझे भी पेड़ दिख रहा है चिड़िया दिख रही है पत्ते दिख रहे हैं शाबाश तुम भी खड़े हो जाओ अब भीम भीम तुम्हें क्या दिख रहा है उठाओ धनुष लगाओ बाण गुरुदेव मुझे आम दिख रहे हैं कॉल्ड सिलेक्टिव वाचिंग और क्या दिख रहा है गुरुदेव मुझे बहुत भूख लग रही है मुझे बहुत सारे आम दिख रहे हैं और क्या दिख रहा है गुरुदेव मुझे केवल आम ही दिख रहे हैं क्या मैं आम तोड़ के लाऊं आपके लिए भी नाउ अ मैन हु थिंक्स अबाउट मल्टीपल अदर थिंग्स कैन ही गेट सक्सेस कैन ही एक्चुअली हिट द बुल जॉय ऑफ इज गोल्ड एंड कम्स अर्जुना अर्जुन उठाओ धनुष लगाओ बाण बताओ तुम्हें क्या दिख रहा है गुरुदेव मुझे चिड़िया की आंख दिख रही है और क्या दिख रहा है अर्जुन मुझे केवल चिड़िया की आंख दिख रही है और क्या दिख रहा है अर्जुन गुरुदेव मुझे केवल चिड़िया की आंख ही दिख रही है अर्जुन मैं तुम्हारा गुरु तुम्हारे सामने खड़ा हूं क्या तुम्हें मैं दिख रहा हूं नहीं गुरुदेव मुझे आप नहीं दिख रहे मुझे केवल चिड़िया की आंख दिख रही है शाबाश अर्जुन चलाओ तीर एंड ठक द बर्ड्स आई That's called व्यवसाय आत्मिका बुद्धि एक गुरु नंदन only in one direction and then you're bound to get right results in life. Now people who have multiple other desires, that's fine, that's fine. But regulate them, but regulate them. 
you know once you are able to regulate them tolerate them and remain focused your emotional intelligence score also goes up so krishna gives very powerful teachings in bhagavad gita that's called setting a goal of course that was only first part of goal setting we'll also cover second part of goal setting keep watching our videos and we'll be happy to serve you thank you